and you thought LEGO Star Wars was violent. Take a look at this. It's so weird thinking this game came out a few weeks before Revenge of the Sith when you literally play through the entire plot of the film. Spoilers. Aspire, guys, forget the KOTOR remake, please. This is the game that needs a remake. Cartwheeling Jedi. I mean, that should be more than enough to convince you guys you're making the wrong game. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> Obi-Wan and his broody Padawan Anakin have landed aboard General Grievous' ship and plan on rescuing their Sith Lord friend Palpatine, who looks as good as ever. How many pixels you got there, mate? Like three? <laughs> I love how battle droids get cut in half with just a single slice in this game. Accurate. Obi-Wan's doing all the hard work. Meanwhile, Anakin wants to be a ballerina. Seriously, I like that the AI actually do something in this game. You know, they don't just stand there. They actually kill enemies for you. Very helpful. Look at Anakin's block. He's basically stabbing himself. Literally the most awkward way of holding a lightsaber ever. And that said, Hayden Christensen actually worked with the animators on this. He was like, make me do this. Hayden literally goes, I want this to be my idol stance. And I want my fast opening attack to be this. Uh, okay. No, but seriously, he's like, he came aboard this game and, you know, actually helped them design it, design the combat, along with the prequels lead stunt coordinator. They're all here working on this game. Here's a cool one. Telling the devs to put stuff in like, hey, make Anakin do a no-look casual force push. Just, pfft. I swear this whole game up until Order 66 is just Obi-Wan telling Anakin what to do. <laughs> Watch yourself. Deflect their fire. Use combination attacks against those super battle droids. Watch those canisters. Use the force, Anakin. Hurry. We can't stay here fighting droids, Anakin. Hurry. We still have a mission to complete. Oh yes, Anakin! I've discovered the stab attack! Stab you, stab you, stab you- Oh, I'm sorry, too soon. We're not there yet. Oh wait, I just remembered. I think this is the game where you actually get to kill that useless librarian. If the planet you are searching for is not in our archives, I'm afraid it does not exist. And then she walks off. Mate, talk about dealing in absolutes. Jesus. Who joined the Sith Empire? Ugh. Little hard on the knees there, Anakin. Huh? Getting a bit old in your age. <laughs> Just hear like the crunch of your knees as you land. Fall damage. We need to access that control console. All right, Obi Wan. Man, I'll get to the control console. Jeez. All right, take it easy. Anakin, use that console. Or oh, Obi Wan, bro. Calm down. Okay, yes. We need to override that marker. Man, give me a break. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, okay? I just I just broke my knees on the ground jumping down here, okay? Because, you you know, you're too old. I hope you're having a good time. Uh, I'd be having a much better time if you just let me be. Literally being bullied by Super Battle Droid. Just, Obi-Wan, chill. Hold up. Seriously, we're still in the first mission, and I feel like this game has already revealed so much about Anakin and Obi-Wan's relationship. Use the force to jump from here. Obi-Wan wasn't so much of a mentor, but more just a big bully. Anakin, do this. Anakin, force jump. Anakin, watch out. Dude, I'm literally the chosen one. Just, you know, chill. I think I can work it out, okay? Oh, sweet. I get to create a save name. I like how the default is Sith. Like, they're just, you know, setting you up for that ultimate ending. <laughs> Obi-Wan, you got it coming, mate. Okay, B-O-M-B-A-S-T-I-C. Um, dude, what? What? You're only allowed eight characters. <sighs> So began the adventures of the great Bombasti. <laughs> War. The Republic is crumbling under attacks by the ruthless Sith Lord, Count Bombasti. In a stunning move, the fiendish droid leader, General Bombasti, has swept into the Republic capital and kidnapped Chancellor Bombasti, leader of the Bombasti Senate. <laughs> Don't worry, Master. I'm not worried. This will be no problem. Did I say I was worried? So guys, originally episode three was supposed to be a comedy. Man, this is like one of those deleted scenes where Obi-Wan and Anakin start touching themselves. Well, I remember when I first saw them do this as a kid and I was like, coolest thing ever. All right, finally, Obi-Wan time. Dear God, why did they start me as Obi-Wan against like the hardest enemies in the game? How will I ever win without Anakin's mad block stance? Oh. Obi-Wan, you all right, mate? You having a nap? Dude, what's up? Oh, I died. Oh, never mind. Oh, great. 
Now that's what I call dismemberment. Finally, Droid is missing an arm and still coming at me. What a beast. Oh here, this is my favorite move. Dude is on the ground and I can stab. You will die. Sometimes it takes a couple times. I'm selling you for scrap. Obi-Wan's a real businessman in his spare time, just, you know, taking battle droid parts and selling them for scrap. Who thought of writing this? Come on, Obi-Wan, you can do this. Don't let them bully you. You are the bully. Hey, Anakin, keep taking care of those droids while I meditate in the corner, please. Useless Padawan. Man, do I have to take care of everything for you? Huh? Little Annie, come on, man. Oh, yes, I love this door stab. Obi-Wan channeling Phantom Menace Qui-Gon here. Just stab your lightsaber into the door until the door collapses. This game's giving me a lot of Republic Commando vibes with all the stab stab. Oh, crap, crap. Health is super low. All right, let's just kill these clankers. That, oh. Oh. Wait, what? If you die, you have to replay the entire mission. Old games, man, no mercy. Well done, master. Shut up, Anakin. They don't think they'll stop us, do they? Droids aren't known for their brains, Anakin. You tell him, Obi, stupid sand boy. Here we go, this is where Anakin gets back at Obi. Anakin jumps through first, and instead of holding the door open on the other side, he's just like, nah. <laughs> You're a master, aren't you? I'm sure you'll be fine. Dilly lost his saber. Dilly got him there, Addy. Keep trying, you'll fool him soon. You'll get him. Droidicus! Oh, here we go. 80-year-old grandpa CGI Count Dooku does a front flip over this balcony for no particular reason at all. Little hard on the knees there, isn't it, Count? Huh? Rough landing. Defend yourself, Anakin! You know what, Obi-Wan, thanks for the advice, but old man, I think I'll let you do most of the fighting in this one. Just, you know, you're getting older now, Obi, you're more close in age to the Count. I think you can handle it. Ah, uh, here he is. Excellent form, Anakin. Was that supposed to be Palpatine just sitting calmly in the chair? Meanwhile, we're getting destroyed out here. Sith Lord, save us. Oh, what a surprise. Obi-Wan gets kicked for the 12th time this movie and then completely crushed by this platform. Meanwhile, after killing Dooku, just shakes this off. Dude, his ribs and internal organs would be completely crushed. Obi-Wan has the thickest plot armor in all these films. You just can't avoid being kicked. That's the only thing. Stab, stab, combo move. Uh, Dooku, Count Bombasti, save me. Oh, what? You have force lightning? Dude. Teach me, please. Come on. I never learned that. <laughs> Dooku literally just runs away. Look at him scurry up the stairs. And then Anakin slow walk up the staircase and Palpatine seems happy. All three pixels in his face looking, all looking fly. Your speeches are beginning to bore me, Dooku. Then let me end your suffering. Man, the sledging. <laughs> He's low on health, here we go, now for my epic finisher. Force grab, force throw, and downward stab. Best you have. Oh, and he's getting up again. But wait, uh, okay, there it is. I like how they didn't give away just how brutal Count Dooku's death was in the film. I mean, I played this back in 2005 on the day it was released, and I remember being pleased it didn't spoil Dooku's actual death with his, you know, head bouncing along the floor. Gotta love the prequels. Man, I completely forgot you actually spent half this game just trying to get off Grievous' as a ship. It's like, man, get me out of here. Doesn't Obi-Wan just look immaculate? For 2005, this is groundbreaking. Look at those pixels, oh, there's five of them. Before Palpatine had three, now there's five. That should get me by for a while. A lot of Bacta you can collect in this game. Meanwhile, Republic Commando is like, You got any Bacta? Give me Bacta! Never say no to Bacta! Please need Bacta! I never thought I'd be so happy to see a ray shield. <laughs> Let's go see how much trouble Obi-Wan has got himself into now. Good old moody broody Anakin. Let's just try to throw you into the explosive. No, okay, almost. No, almost. Oh, come on. All right, just die. Oh. Man, why is it so hard to aim these? <laughs> Look at Sith Lord Palpatine freaking out in the background. And then Obi-Wan gets a random phone call, which he rudely decides to take, even though they're halfway through a rescue mission trying to save the pa Palpatine. Chancellor, he's here. Calling all open Jedi channels. This is Jedi Cruiser 622 requesting immediate assistance. Obi-Wan, mate, put your phone on silent. Talk about an awkward moment, am I right? <laughs> now this is the part of the game where you get to shoot a giant cannon. Obi-Wan, you having fun there? Looks like you got this under control. I'm just gonna practice my cartwheels here while I get a chance. I mean, if it's all the same to you anyway, I'm kind of sick of you bossing me around. I th I'm thinking about stabbing you later. Now the ship's dorsal fins. <laughs> Obi-Wan. Mate, 
Do you really think Anakin knows what dorsal fins are? Come on. The dude grew up on a sand planet. Take a moment and think about it. Nice shooting. Dude, even your compliments sound sarcastic. You expected less? General Kenobi. <laughs> I see you've sent your Magna Guards to kill us. Oh crap, they're actually really strong. Come here, General. You're literally just walking around on the side. I've been foiled by my nemesis, Invisible Wall. Meanwhile, Obi-Wan's talking about droid scrap again. Let's scrap these droids and go home. Try to cash it on the Magna Guards. <laughs> the lightsabers, I want them. Well, Grievous, I got bad news for you, buddy. You ain't getting them, sorry. But I do know where you can get one. Go looking for Kylo's. I think he threw it in the ocean somewhere, you know, just offhanded. He's just like, ah, screw this. I don't want it anymore. There you go. General Grievous dives in the water, grabbed the lightsaber out. <laughs> All right, where is he? Where is he? Where has he gone? The ship's upside down. Grievous, are oh, you still here? There you are. Bring me the lightsabers and the heads. Bro, all right, he's up. First you wanted our lightsabers, now you, uh, like, you can take Obi-Wan's head, you know what I mean? Like, Anakin is probably going to be done with it soon, so there you go. Don't lose your focus, Anakin. Obi-Wan, mate, I've had enough of your so-called guidance. I'm going to let you fight the Magna Guards while I work on my biceps. I'm ready for anything now. <laughs> Anakin, man. Want to buy some death sticks? Oh, sorry. Want to buy some Bacta? All right, here we go. Last one. Try and take it down. You're just a battle toy with an ego malfunction. All right, calm down, Obi-Wan. Calm down. Think of that one all by yourself. Like, come on, let's maybe, you know, actually focus on taking down Grievous rather than thinking up all these random... <laughs> Oh, wait, no, never mind. Sorry, he's taken off. Now that's out of the way, it's time to actually focus on killing General Grievous. Will Obi-Wan survive his little holiday to Utapau? Will he get kicked by General Bombasti? And will he get stabbed in the alternate ending? <laughs> I think you guys will enjoy my Clips channel. Come check that out for daily vids. And if you're new here, you can come follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and join my Discord for lots more Star Wars and everything else. And thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon. <laughs> Stay bombastic.